A week or two ago, I was debating uh, with John Kitzhaber. Sorry, I didn't mean to swear. <laughs> of a bunch of God-fearing Americans. But one of the questions that was asked in the debate was, what are we going to do about all of the polarization and all the animosity that are in politics today, and why don't we just find some middle ground and all learn to get along? And as they went through the candidates one by one, they said, well, we need to be more civil, we need to be more courteous and respectful of other views, etc. And then they came to me. And I told the audience there in Salem, I don't, I'm not sure you're going to like the answer I'm going to give you. Because the middle ground you're looking for, there's not much of it left anymore. We are in a battle for the soul of our nation, soul of our state. And the middle ground is a fantasy land because in reality, one side is going to win and one side is going to lose. We're either going to be socialists or we're going to be free. And it's, and it's one or the other. The history of the world shows us that one will triumph and one will fail. We'll either be servants of the government or we will be free. Now people ask me, what separates you from the other people running? And I'm not, forgive me, I don't really, I didn't come here to exploit the, the, uh, the event for my candidacy, but I want to I want to answer the question because I think it's something that all of you need to realize if you don't already. I am running to break the stranglehold that the public employee unions have on the state of Oregon. Hallelujah! They do. They control it from top to bottom. Governor's office. I mean, when the, when John Kitt, when Ted Kulongoski was elected on election night, you know what he did? He stood up and he thanked the public employee unions for putting him in office, and then he hired the OEA, the teachers union's top lobbyist, to be his chief of staff. And then his deputy chief of staff was the AFL-CIO president for Oregon. And then their on-the-ground person that does did their, their volunteer drives out there to stop people like you and my petition circulators hired that person to be his communications director. It was a complete coup. They took over the office and they've done the same thing with the secretary of state, the attorney, attorney general, etc. Now, if you're like me, and you believe in private property rights, and you believe in your guns, and you believe in your pro-life, you go down the list of conservative and traditional American and family values. I will tell you who is funding the other side. Those people that want your guns, those people that uh, are supportive of abortion and are supportive of uh, the entire gay rights agenda and they're after your property and they're after your paycheck, those people are all being elected with public employee union money. It's just a fact. You may love your school teachers. You may love your police officers and firefighters. And there's good people working in government and I would never say otherwise. However, their unions are destroying this state. So as you go forth, I will tell you, when I came through Salem this morning about 11 o'clock or so, without, I'm not having a fit, that was a bug. Uh, when, I, uh, when I came through Salem, there were about two to 3,000 people at the state capitol doing what you're doing here tonight. About 26 events like this are going on across the state of Oregon today. That's exciting. I will tell you, somebody said to me the other day, Bill, weren't you like having tea parties 16 years ago? <laughs> yeah, and I was the only one at them. <laughs> but today, it thrills my heart to see uh, people like you and across the state uh, rising up. Many of you for the first time really getting involved. And uh, the, the numbers swell. The, we build upon each other's strength and courage, and I, I applaud you for what you're doing. Don't stop. Next year, let's have a couple thousand people right here in, in Grants Pass. God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you.
Linda's going to sing another song for us, and I'm glad of that because she sings beautifully. Amen. Um, 